Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Diola Adebi and I am the editor of fashion and beauty blog Omogimura. Thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is a tutorial of this look I have on my face right here. I created it a couple of weeks ago, posted it on Instagram and you guys really really liked it. So I was trying to decide between four looks to two for t this week's video and this video got the highest number of votes and here's the tutorial. Um, these lips are my favorite part of this look. I love doing an ombre lip because I think it's fun. It's just not one color and it's two <laughs> or you could even do three if you're really really good. Um, but yeah, I really really love this lip look and I think it goes well with the rest of the face. The eyes are just like a simple gold smoky eye that kind of thing and the face is just like a highlight and contour but these lips are the big like the star of this whole video. if you are interested in finding out how i got this look right here please continue watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe As usual, I like to begin with my eyes, and the palette I'm going to be using for my eyes is the Morphe 35O palette. I really love this palette because it has such great colors. The first thing I'm going to go and do is start to define my crease, and I'm going to use this light, um, almost mustard color. I don't know why it's off screen, but that's what I used for my crease. And then the second crease color I used is this almost gray brownish color, so I just mix that together and use it in my crease. For my lid, I'm going to be going in with this bronze color. It's not like a very popping gold, but I like it because it's 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 there, but it's not really, really there. Um, do you guys understand? Do you get that? I don't know if you got that, but I understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going back in with this crease brush to make sure it's all blended out to make sure there are no harsh lines or, you know, anything really weird happening in my crease. Then I'm going to go in with this brighter gold because I realized that it wasn't bright enough as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to use this to, you know, up the ante. Then this is the Kudi Kaja, um, Kudi Cosmetics line um, Eye Kaja and I'm using it to line my waterline. Then I'm going to go in with my inner eye highlight. I love a good inner eye highlight. Like, it just changes the whole game, honestly. So I'm going to go back in with the Kudi Cosmetics because um, it got like a little wiped out. Now this is the Zaron Felt Tip Liquid Liner and I'm using it to create my winged liner. I've gotten really, really good at this. We thank God. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the shader brush and I'm going to smudge out the um, the kajal that I used to create a smoky effect. And then I'm going to apply mascara to my lashes and this is the Zaron Volumizing Mascara which I think is the best mascara I've ever used. Like I love this mascara. This mascara is bay, literally bay. Now it's time for my face. As usual, I'm going to color correct and I use the LA Girl Pro Color Corrector in the shade orange. And I'm going to apply that under my eyes, around my mouth, and a few sections on my face. Then I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation and this is the MAC um, it's a cushion compact by MAC, but it contains the Matchmaster um, foundation foundation um, cover. How do I explain? It's it's a, in a cushion compact form, but it's the Matchmaster formulation. It's really really good, and I love how it blends in with my skin. Like it's one of my favorite favorite foundations. Like it's soon going to be my holy grail. Time to contour and highlight. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee, and I'm going to contour. Oh, um, I said contour. I'm going to highlight under my eyes, my chin, my forehead, and down the bridge of my nose.
going to use my Sasha Buttercup powder to set my uh, my concealer and I'm using a dome contour brush to do this Once that has baked for like about 5-10 minutes, I'm going to use a large powder brush to wipe away all the excess. It's time to contour, so I'm going to use this Debota Lawson angled brush and the Guerlain Four Seasons Terracotta Bronzer. I'm going to mix those two shades. I don't use the blush because I'm not a big fan of blush, but I really love those two shades mixed together. It makes the perfect contour shade and it's more of a bronzer than a contour powder but it still does the same job and it's a wonderful has i can't speak too much i just really really love that bronzer like it's big literally so i'm going to use a smaller angled brush to con um to contour my cupid's bow and to also contour the sides of my nose Then I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend all the lines together, you know, no harsh lines, make sure everything looks nice and smooth and flawless. Then to make sure that that contour is really enhanced and really, you know, showing through, I'm going to place some of my setting powder under my contour. Now it's time for my favorite part, highlighting. I'm using the Teos Cosmetic Strobing Palette and I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and choose the lightest shade in that palette and highlight my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose. This highlighter is, oh god, I can't even begin to talk about how much I love this highlighter. But that highlight though, that highlight though. Right now I'm just brushing away the excess powder from under my contour and you can see how defined it is. Now just to make sure everything is nice and blended well, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Compact Powder in the shade Chocolate. Just to make sure, you know, blend and you know, make sure everything is looking nice and good. This is just me applying mascara to my lower lashes. I like to do this last because I don't want any powder to get on them. Now it's time for the ombre lip. I'm using two purple lipsticks. This is Potion by Anastasia Beverly Hills and that is Nairobi Fever by Teos Cosmetics. So when I do an ombre lip, the first thing I like to do is I like to apply the outer shade first and in really slow, you know, slow defined movements to make sure it doesn't like just go crazy or go anywhere. Just slow, really slow and defined movements. I don't want to go very crazy. I don't want to, you know, go into where the other shade is supposed to go. So I'm just really careful with it. Then I will go in with the second shade. Now with this one, I'm not scared of it going into where the other, the lipstick is. It's actually supposed to look blended and not look like two different lines. It's supposed to look like, you know, one color is turning into another color so i'm not worried with it getting everywhere just you know blend it really well using my um using the applicator and there it is thank you so much for watching this video i hope you loved it i hope you learned something from it you know i really love making tutorials so do let me know what other looks you want me to do and i will do them thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to leave a comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye